That's a big improvement from where we started, you know. Now you just want to not, you know, we can feel more energy on the ball in general. But, yeah. Uh, you know, just the amount of lag we have now, you know, and the shaft versus the way it was before. There you go. We can increase it more, and we need to increase it more, but it's, it's a lot better. Yeah. Great sound on the ball. Not just not laying in the back rim, not just swing. Yeah. Just keep doing it on the real short stroke. Just to yeah, it's just practiced over and over on your swing. Just feel for it so that I feel it. That's awesome. You don't have to hit golf balls. That's the thing. Is people, I mean, you know, it helps with, with timing and feel a little bit. You don't have to hit You're working on it right at home. You know, I do all my training uh, at home. So, because I don't have time to hit golf balls, and I don't really want to hit golf balls anymore. I know, you've probably hit enough. I've hit a million of those little <laughs> things, and I can do in 10 minutes at home without a golf ball more than I can do with well, what you know, you were, golf balls. Well, what you were telling me was, this is a technique thing, and I've got to get it locked in to my memory. Right. It's not a million balls thing. No. It's got to be the right position. Yeah, it's just getting getting everything, the energy right. You know, everything's sequenced up. Right time. Yeah. And when you have that feel, it's like you're doing, you're hitting every shot. <clears throat> That's right. And you're, and you're working in the right zone. You know, right, you're right. You're working what we call in between zone three and zone four. So you're in, you're in between, you know, kind of right here and, and the three quarter mark. So you're working right in between. And that's exactly what you're training. Yeah. Because you can feel it. You, like right now, you can feel everything, right? I like can. I mean, it, it makes perfect sense. Nothing feels out of sequence or out of whack. Yeah. Versus if you were going full blown. Right. And after you hit a couple more, I want to see you just go to a seven iron and then see what we're getting. Right. And then, you know, for somebody that lost as much angle as you lost in the golf ring, that's impressive. But yeah. you know, you I was completely lost. I think you're a good, nice good example of that. Stop. That, that if, you, if you train in a small, uh, if you train in a small zone and get that groove down, we'll give you this one. I don't have a. Damn, that's all right. Yeah, good, but you know, if you train in a small zone and get it right, then it, 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 it's just a little bit longer each time and you're there, you're going to swing instead of trying to go full swing fast first. Right. The biggest mistake you've got. Yeah. That's well, the thing is, thing. if you lay off for a year and you don't have that principle locked in your mind, that's where I was. Right. Then you go back and you're get searching for the feeling. Absolutely. As opposed to knowing what you're supposed to do. Absolutely. You can't find it searching like that. <laughs> no. Nice. A couple of those, and then let's just add some pressure to it. With some speed after you get one of those. Nice little push draw. Get you there. Now let's put some a little bit longer golf swing and add some power. You know, kind of the right time to add some power. All right. That's all right. So the only thing you missed there was everything was good. You just forgot to uh, let the soul out. So you, when I say let the soul out, that's what you do. So you're going to let the soul. Yeah. Middle of the club, middle of the club, it's the ground. Yeah. And a lot of times when you're tight and warm up, that'll happen. But the, the form wasn't really that bad. Beautiful. Push draw. Whew. I good that. That works. I mean, ball? Yeah. Just this yeah. small one. Yeah. I mean, oh, since we play, I played one round of golf, and uh, I'll tell you what happened. That's awesome. I, I couldn't hit a drive all day. I hit a couple, but I was pushing everybody. Right. And uh, it was just yeah. time, you know, and I was just that that's what it is. I didn't feel good anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I hit, I hit a drive out of bounds. I'd have to hit another one. And I made at least 10 bogeys with drive out of bounds. Wow. And when I was doing that, I was coming back up. Getting my wrist out in front. That's great compared to where we were because it just, just it sounded like you're a driver player here in the seven, mid seven. 
we well, played in golf. Or I just didn't have, I hadn't had enough time to work on the longer, right. the field, the longer club, and I just never, never did get the field. Yeah. Probably just shorten the driver swing overall. It's gonna, we'll watch it now. That's what he looks for. Right. Beautiful. Nice little draw. That's good. It's not so much a whole lot of roll. It's just like, like you said, when you get here, you, that, this goes left. It's not, not too much of this, but it's, it's over. yeah. Just but, well, when you have a little, when you get here you, and it hits, you have a little pivot with the chest, and the hands go like this. They don't really do too much of that because if you do that, that's where the driver can right. right. You don't need. It's already square. So when you when you pivot with your chest here, right at impact, that squares the back of that hand, and it's done. All you gotta do there is just all three. Just like you're doing here, the ball's just, you know, it's perfect. We need about 20 more percent compression, but you have plenty of speed. The ball's going forever. Okay. Uh, but we're going to work, we're going to dial this in and see if we can't get a little bit more, more, uh, more compression. Okay, so let's go back to this, let's go back to this club here. And we'll work on this. So you see that last one was, is a good shot, but it was a little thin. Yeah. And what I see you doing is with your head, but you can see the video is as you move forward, your head kind of goes forward right. here. Just like this. So you're here and you're going forward like yeah. this. Okay? Like that. So what I want to see is when you're here, is your legs and chest so you can move up to it like this. But we'll, and I, it's a simple drill. I'll keep a club next to your head and that'll help you. And then from here, that'll help you. If you if you get out in front of it like this right here, past the ball, you're going to have to have some loss of black. Old, old bad habit. Yep. Because if I was to hit a tree and I move my head in front of that axe, kind of goes to the axe principle, you're not going to have the pressure as you would if you were behind that line. If you're too far behind it, so you're fine line, yeah. So we want to be right on top of it, so we're just behind the shaft, like that. Okay. We'll do that with the sandwich first. shorter swing okay because you still want to follow through to your left I don't want to get you staying I don't want to get you like this that's yeah, not what I want right. I want you to move and rotate everything's rotating still around good, your yeah. head okay okay so only thing we got you doing now is exactly what I thought might happen so I'm going to show you this you're going now you're going this is perfect here and you're not moving here. Yes, and you're going to break down, and that's what everybody does. You yeah. you have to twist and turn and move forward. You have to move into it forward, but you can't move from the top first. So I want you to push forward and open up. So I, I felt myself doing that and tried to stop it. A little shorter. Stop it. Yeah, can't ever stop. It. Let, let's dial that swing down more too. Too, right. you kind of go down to zone three until we figure that out. There you go. That was it much better that time you opened up the body i think a lot of it is what i'm seeing too is you were going so down the line the cup's going so down the line you're chasing it with your head yeah and so watch how i do this instead of think roll like you were demonstrating think of see how i hit here and open the chest and then that can't get your right okay that last one you had more pivot in through the upper body and that's that's why it was better beautiful Beautiful. And I hear more thump on the uh, the ball. Yeah. yeah. Good. A little bit of lean too. When I say lean, I'm going to demonstrate this what that looks like. So you're going. 
sweat to it comes down to the pump down the line to the line on the angles here. You start grinding with the club head down the line, your hip is, instead of the club head would be on line with the hand would be over here. So that's really all that is essentially is if you're here at impact, your grip line point, you just turn your chest over. Yeah, and just, just dragging it through. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just chest opening. So chest hold your club open. Oh, uh, up in front of you like this, right? And then we'll just get, there's impact right there. Right. Line point. Now watch this. Look, this is all it happens. So, so you don't have to roll. And this is what I'm seeing. You know, you can see. Okay. So right. instead of here, just swivel it like that. There you go. Yep, just swivel it like that. <clears throat> and you're still working, you know, you're shifting your weight like you're doing good, but you're opening too. Yeah. That keeps you from uh, sliding and releasing early. So, like that, that was it. Feel the difference? Yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah. Now what I want you to do, so to get that maximum uh, compression on the ball, you have to have, uh, you have to have a little more collection than what we call, so when you float this, maybe now we talk about the float, float right? right? So the float, we have to, you're floating a little bit, and the club's not really collecting a lot of enough energy. It's good. But I like to see you get here, almost come to a stop, and then start to pivot. So you get here, so you're going to feel like you slow down once you make the float and let everything almost come to a stop. And you can actually stop and train. Sure. You go here and like that. And you can hear that slow Let's try that. Get maybe a little shorter swing at first, okay. and let it come all the way to a pause. All the way. Yeah, we'll let it stop all the way for like two seconds, and then we'll, we'll go through. So you let it float, stop. Good. Feel the difference? Yeah. Now that one had the maximum thump on it. Yeah. Because you let it, it got fully collected. The shaft got fully collected when you stopped. It got energized, and then you just drug that hand. There you go. And then make sure you don't go down the line too much like this. Make sure you, you, you swivel the chest. Yeah. Yeah, like that. So let's do the, those two things. So we're going to pause. You're gonna, when, after you float, you pause for a couple seconds. Then chest. The chest. Yep. Beautiful. The only thing that I saw there is when you went to pivot forward, when you floated here, when you opened, you, you, you didn't didn't drag this handle far enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you hear it drag it. So you yeah, just yeah. kind of lost one of the things you've been working on. I think. <laughs> yeah, that happened. <laughs> I mean, you didn't lose anywhere where you were. I mean, obviously, your old swing. Good pauses. Good. Beautiful. That was better. That's good, huh? That felt great. Yeah. You don't even feel the contact. Really. No. But when you get, you know, you're, you're working really close to max compression right there. I mean, if you pause a little bit longer and you float, when you get here and you just pause and let it stay wise, and then do that, you feel like everything. So it's, it's really good, though. Take a little stick with it. Now I know why you're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, so you forgot to drag the handle? I forgot to drag the handle. I fell through, I just want you to bring back. So what that means is you got here, and instead of once you collected here, you went club head, club head towards the ball. Like this, so sort of yeah. versus handle that goes through, drag the handle. Right, right, right. Do it, uh, float, hold, and drag the handle. Make sure you got this handle for money. You just climb up. Still want, you still want to be in the corner? Pause. Good, so pause, make sure. So, what happened there was is you got here and you ran, you didn't pause. So, what happened instead of collecting, you got out in front of it because you didn't stop. Yeah. And then you can't, you can't, go there. If, you're, if you're out in front of your grip alignment point, your body is, you're going to flip the point. So you have to pause for a little bit. No pausing. Yep, full pause. I mean, you literally think of it as a drill, even though it's not. So pause, stop. Now, drag and go. Good. You felt that one, right? I mean, you, I can see it. You look at this pivot there. That's the sole of the club. Yep. Very good. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah.
just jumps off the club. Yes, it does. Like that. That's, that one's the flag. Good job. It actually hit it. Right in front of that one. It didn't, it didn't kind of drag and get open. Uh, you didn't drag it enough, you know, so you want to get more drag. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. That was good. Make sure it gets, uh, go ahead and pause a little longer, yeah. especially in the drill. Yeah. So I want everything, when I say pause, it's really just stop like three frames. And then work from there. You know, you maybe do ten of those, and then you would go into your motion because you don't want to be. The club can't be fully collected. So if I'm here, if, if you're moving and this is moving, this can't be fully collected. So what happens when a great player is they get here and this all of a sudden it's we'll call it slow down effect. You slow down, and, and what we're doing in training that collects all the shaft in the core and so your body has energy in this head, and then you drive that and drag that into the ball. So if you're moving forward and this is going back, they'll have slack until you don't collect all the energy. So that one, uh, you know, it was good, but you know, it's going to hit right by the thing. Looks like a great shot, but if that was going up the chain with a 7 iron, it would have been thin because there was a little bit of releasing yep. instead, instead of stabilizing. That wasn't bad, but you thought that one you brought the So one before, <laughs> I just think yeah, it's the difference of knowing when you're training this one, is knowing to stop and stabilize and drag that in. You don't want to just pause, so it's like when you're floating, you connect, hold it, for there you go, hold it, and then you just drag that, there you go. Drag it over. That wasn't far enough back. That was good. Beautiful. Wow, that was really good. You like that one? Yeah. You don't want to be in control, but it's good. A little more speed. So that one was, you feel like it didn't, so you slowed down, but I actually want to see you stop. It didn't stop. I want to see it, like, so you can sit there and talk to me for three seconds, basically, if you were stopped. I want to see that because that's when you're going to, you know that it's collected at that point. The same thing? You just remember, when you bring the club back. And stop, hold, now go. That's what I'm looking for. And you feel, the ball flight came down, you're in a 60. Mid range ball flight, full compression, and you didn't stump the ground. You know, you didn't chop it. Can't even feel the ball on the left. And that was because you weren't, you didn't have that slack in transition when you floated. Eventually, you'll be able to do it without it pausing. Yes. But right now, we got to stabilize the body and the yeah. shaft. Let's do that. Good at hockey. Good. See, that one would be more like, I would call that more just your golf swing. I just chased that one down the line. Like yeah, and I'd call that your golf swing because you didn't stop. Just a little bit. You should be able to stop for like 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, and everything's not moving. Nothing's moving. Okay. And then swing. That would be the drill. All right. Okay. There you go. That would be it. Feel the difference? That's just what I gotta do until it's I a get foot from the hole. That. Flushed it. It's just flush, that's, right. well, that's just awesome considering where that shaft was. You know, demonstrate where that, that shaft was. Like, the impact from there. Yeah. You know, exactly. I'm watching it on video here. Even the ones that flipped a little bit, watch this one close, close to getting yeah. the flags. That's a big change. That's why you're hitting it better. It obviously you didn't you didn't hit really any golf balls while you did this training with a 60 degree in your house. Beautiful. See how flighted that is? That's perfect. I love it. <laughs> 